Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Today I'm at Vintage Oaks doing a lot tour for an out-of-state client. The lot we're looking at today's address is 1514 Vintage Way. Let's go check it out. All right, if you're not familiar with Vintage Oaks, the acreage section has three, well, there's three main entrances to uh, Vintage Oaks. This, ro this row we're looking at right now is the middle entrance and it leads to everything else in Vintage Oaks. So that is a downside if you did were interested in this property is you're gonna have quite a bit of traffic on this road right in front of your property. The good point is uh, they're only asking right at $100,000 for this acre. So, and you're already in an established area, you're not gonna get a lot of construction going around you. And it's gonna be real easy to get in and out of the community versus going all over the place to get to and from your house. Let's go check out this lot. Right, we're always gonna, I always like starting with the neighbors to see what they've done. This does slope from the front to the rear of the property. This looks like it's a little bit of a water runoff, but also some a road there. But the lot's not super steep. It looks like it kind of levels off right after you get through the front, but you can see what they did there. It goes down and then they level it off. And one thing you need to know about Vintage Oaks is you have to have your driveway on the side of the house. So you can see how they did their driveway. Right, let's go look into this lot a little bit here. This lot has been only on the market for about two and a half months, so not too long. It's not like some of the lots you see out here that have been on the market for a very long time. So when you see a lot that's been on the market forever and no one's interested in it, that's usually an indication of there's something really wrong with that lot. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with this lot except for the, being on the main street. One of the main streets. Some of these trees here uh, will, will have to go once they build on it. That tree there looks like something you kind of want. Eh, it's not so bad. But you might be able to save this front oak tree just because it'd be in the front of your property. Because you do have to have a nice, uh, I believe, 20 foot setback from the road. But the house, the slope is pretty level. A lot of this underbrush will get cleared out. So uh, let's start making our way to the back of the property and see what that looks like. Once again, starting this clip with the neighbor's yard, you can see how because it slopes from the front to the back, their back porch is gonna be elevated to make sure the house is even. And they've cleared out some stuff and uh, making it nice for them. All right, but this is a lot we're looking at. This isn't as steep as the uh, house next door. Trying, not, trying to still be able to film. And uh, like I said, all this underbrush is gonna get cleared out. All right, so a nice oak tree back there that should be able to stay. All right, I'm gonna go find your rear property line. This is kind of on a deer trail. You can see one deer right there kind of looking at me, trying to figure out what's going on. So yeah, we do have a lot of deer out here, so uh, be aware of that. I love deer. You gotta be conscious of what you plant because deer will eat it. All right, I haven't found the stake, but uh, I think I'm around proper, back of the property line. We do have more deer running through back here. So that's kind of cool to watch. I'm guessing it's around here. It could be a little further back. But you can see that it does slope down a little bit in the back, but not so bad. And let's see if I can get to see what the views would be. You have the, another person back that away. But once you clear out, you got some pretty nice views back here. 
So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Want to clear out some of these cedar, which no one really wants anyways. Now, uh, I want to show you the neighbor on the other side of this lot because you don't have to, a lot of people will just keep uh, a good chunk of their land natural, which is a little rocky and stuff like that, but it gives you nice space. And you're not allowed to put up big privacy fences here, but you can put up these type of fences. So you're only maintaining a portion of the yard you want to maintain. And the builder, will th that's a question for them of how much of a yard will they install. And I guess it, it definitely is going to depend on what your budget is of how much they want to clear out the rocks that we have here and install kind of a yard. through here oops somebody out there don't want to infringe on their privacy howdy howdy Alrighty, i just had a nice conversation with the neighbor really good guy talked about living out here and how much they enjoy it and how great the people are because yeah there really are some great people out here very friendly and talking about how we do talk to each other we do say hi so yeah, if you are considering moving out here, this is a uh, friendly neighborhood and the neighbors will get to know you. So that's always a good thing. So uh, this is a very big community area. Checking out this little deer trail. He said the deer come out here pretty much every day. All right, coming back up to the front of the lot area. Kind of seeing what the front area is going to look like. It is a pretty wide lot. So if you did want to do a uh, horseshoe driveway, this would... Uh, yeah, you should be able to do a horseshoe driveway. So let's go see what the neighbors here did. A lot of people do these rock area here because that is an easement you can't build on. But it also helps prevent erosion. And then as you get back, you can do your house. So overall, it's a really nice lot. Um, the only downside is the traffic off the main road. But when you look at the prices for the other lots out here, uh, getting an acre lot for 100,000 nowadays, that's a really kind of good deal. Before I do my wrap up, I wanna show the frontage area here. So it's got a pretty nice front. Plenty of space to do what you want. And like I said, a little more views of some of the houses around you down this road. So, uh, all right, let me go wrap this uh, video tour up. God, it's a beautiful day in Texas. Uh, that's going to wrap up the tour of this lot at 1514 Vintage Way in beautiful Vintage Oaks, New Braunfels, Texas. If you want some more information or if this lot does interest you, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is going to be on the final screen. And as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel and share them with your friend. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now.